All right, Steve at Steve's Auto Care here, and we are working on an Oldsmobile Bravada, which is the same as the uh, S uh, GMC Jimmy, the S, I think it's the S15 Chevy, uh, S10 Blazer, and the S10 pickup truck. They're all the same. Uh, we're doing a tune-up here, and I wanted to show you my little trick of getting the, the center spark plug out on the uh, driver's side. And the way I do it is I disconnect the steering shaft from the steering box which is way down in here underneath this black cover and mark it so that it goes on straight and since I am the only one here I know that no one's going to be touching that steering wheel so if you have other people around you need to lock that steering wheel down otherwise you run into airbag problems when you break the clock spring turning the steering wheel so anyway so um, I always get the spark plugs and plug wires off from the fender well and let me show you I've got the vehicle up on a jack and have raised the vehicle up and let the suspension drop. Then you get to these access panels here, like so. Now, see if I can get the camera in there with my light. Uh, if you look very carefully, you can see the number two or the center spark plug. The steering shaft goes right in that way. It's a pain in the bahootie to try to get that steering shaft or to get that spark plug out with the steering shaft in the way. And it is only one bolt. It's the 11 millimeter head bolt. It's not on very tight. It's blue in color. And that's it. That's the only thing that holds that steering shaft to the, to the steering gear down there. All right. So, uh, and, and you do the same for the driver's side and uh, I'll just try to show you the driver's or the passenger side as well we flip up this little flap get my light up in there and there's the the number three spark plug there I guess it would be see this side would be two four and six so there's six two and then on this side of the shock tower you can get to number one which tires in the way but uh, the number one is there or excuse me it'd be number two but you got to get the suspension to droop down to give you access in there so there we are it's a 4.3 liter Vortec V6 and yes I also removed the air cleaner housing again it's very simple to do um, you don't even have to undo the the hoses to the mass air take the whole unit out as one piece the four screws and then the one wing nut for the uh, cap and the whole thing comes off and here the box itself has this piece and it's it's it slides into a slot so you know, I have nothing to unbolt here there is a one bolt here and on this car it's missing but you have the one bolt here so one four screws and the wing nut and the whole air cleaner assembly comes right out and that's how you get to that one bolt very simple to cut down your frustration cut down your stress and everybody's happy all right so uh i'm gonna sign off now thanks for watching steve's auto care and uh have a great day